praise the lord jesus greetings to you so the other day i've been thinking about some series that i need to do but if anybody knows me i'm a little bit um i like to put things back and i like to wait for a long long time and i'm not really as bold and i'm not really transparent and there are some things like some part of testimonies that you need to be transparent that there's some part of your growth of your journey that you just need to be bold and comfortable enough to speak and that's where i am heading and that's where you know the lord wants me to be more more transparent in that matter are truthful you know and so these series that i'm going to do are going to be about just that because there are so many questions that persons will ask there are so many questions that you yourself ask there are so many things that you 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 try to know that you try to seek as a believer as a newly converted individual and the thing is that many persons before you also had these questions many persons before you also have these reasoning but um there isn't much out there pertaining these things so i want to do these regular series like how do you know that today is the day to serve god you know how were you sure that the lord wanted this for you like these simple questions these simple questions that oftentimes we don't have answer for them so these are the series that I will be speaking on and it will mostly be on me per se, my own life, my own journey, my own conviction, what it does, what it means. And these are the areas that I will be focusing on in a couple of video videos to follow. Yes, um, so you can definitely look out for these videos. So this is just an introductory video on on a little of my truth. Okay, so first let me say that I do believe that everyone's time is is different and everyone experience will be different. Different in the sense that you know all of us will not be saved the same way the lord will not appear to all of us the same way and the hardest part of this journey to me is is when god is about to do something different when god is calling you in a way that you have never heard before when you feel the desire or you feel this zeal this push this urge this thing inside of you that you want to do something but you didn't you don't really see anybody doing it you don't really see God telling other persons to, to do it and it doesn't mean that it is not the Holy Spirit it doesn't mean that it is not God but sometimes we get a little timid um, concerning it <laughs> like there was this time that the Holy Spirit told me that you know there was this particular scripture and everybody know it very well and it says that no weapon that form against me will prosper and that every tongue that rises up against me in judgment is condemned and i remember one morning i wake up and the holy spirit was telling me about this scripture and um it was my first video and i did it on facebook and i was doing it but while i was doing it i was there back and forth in my mind i was wondering if it was true i was wondering that if it is safe for me to say this because as a christian <laughs> as a believer you know sometimes to me we have to be very careful about what we say because you know the devil is very cunning and he would like to like appear in some things and we don't want to say or give instruction to do something that god really is not saying it's okay to do and so the Holy Spirit was telling me that that scripture wasn't for everybody and for me I was saying that scripture is not for everybody like immediately I felt stones in the spirit like you know person who like stoning to say that 
how can you say that that is not for everybody but then the holy spirit was telling me that it's not for everybody because that scripture when it was written it i think it's in isaiah maybe i should have pulled up that scripture and it was an inheritance it was something that was given to the believer it was something that was given to those who was follow and accept christ so in order for you to be a part of this 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 promise in order for you to be a part of this discovering you must be aligned with with god you must be in line with god you must be with him because it is an inheritance it is something that is passed down to his children those who will call on him those will become his so he was saying that this promise wasn't for everybody and i did the video and a couple years later i heard i heard a, a preacher saying it and i was like yeah that's the second time i've heard it myself the first and now a couple years later i heard i heard her speaking to it and when she said it she was like this wasn't a part of my notes <laughs> and it amazed me because it does simply tell me that you know you have to trust god you have to trust the holy spirit you have to trust god because there there will be a lot of instances in your life when the lord will call you and tell you something new something that nobody else said they may have said it but they they didn't say it like this and god is going to say do it like this say it like this you know and so that's what he said that that scripture wasn't for everybody you have to be a part of the kingdom you have to be his so when you proclaim that no weapon form against you will prosper you were saying it as a right because you have a right to it because you are now joined here with christ jesus and it was just beautiful <laughs> but i never really like run with it at first because i was saying yo persons were stoned me for this because but it's good it is good that um a lot of persons will know popular scriptures a lot of unsaved will know it it's good for everybody to know it but it's not just about knowing it you must be converted with each scripture to get the benefit to truly get the promises you must be converted you must accept them you must be willing to change your lifestyle your mindset in order to become a part of what it is about in order to get the benefit to gain from it so that's that yep so this is what i'll be um focusing on i'll just be talking in a couple of videos just regular talking and believe you me there's a lot of good things that will come there's a lot of good things because the Lord like to just come and just reason with me and many times I can't really repeat it many times he will just come and he will just say things to me and I'll be just sitting and just speaking and I'll be laughing I'll be very happy because I'll be like okay Lord <laughs> oh Lord Jesus uh, that's that yeah